Hey guys, in our previous video, we have learned the basics of page object model and also we have discussed what we are going to do. In this video, we are going to learn how to create pages and how we are going to organize our folder structure and of course, we will write all the elements from the sign up page. Before getting into that, you might have a question why we have two segments like, I mean two modules, header and the home page. Because both of them are within the same page. Yes, it is. But here, if we go to any of the pages, like within the test site, if I go to this end port, here also we can see that we have the sign up, login, um, the logo and the latex path page. And if I go to any other pages, here also you can see we are going to get the same header part on each and every pages. Of course, user can sign up from any of the pages or login or if they are already logged in, they can log out from any of the pages. That's the reason we are keeping this header part in a separate components or in a separate page so that it can be accessible in any of the classes or the test script we are going to write. The intention of using page object model is used to reduce the lines of code and of course to make all the functions reusable. I hope that makes sense to you. From the header, we are going to move to this sign up page. And on the sign up page, we have name, email ID, password, terms and conditions, and sign up button. So, before getting to the test case to how to write this entire flow, of course, we have to organize the project structure. I have created already workspace, new workspace. We are not going to use whatever the basics we have learned so far. So, this is going to be a new workspace. And within that, of course, we have this protector and Jasmine as of now, eventually when we are going to add the reporters or maybe it's some another uh, library, of course, we'll add all the dependencies here. And I believe you already know how to create a project and how to add all the dependencies. If not, just check my first video, you will get a good idea. So within this project, I'm going to create a new folder called pages. And within the pages, we are going to write all other sub components. For example, header is going to be my one folder and home page is going to be my another folder. Do I have to follow the folder structure? Not necessary, but of course it is a good practice so that it will be more accessible. And first of all, there is no rule like you have to write in this way. If it's going to be more easier to accessible from any of the folders, then of course you can follow it. And there is no limitation like you have to keep this folder or that folder. Based on your project structure, of course, you can extend or you can shrink as per your requirement. So within the pages, I'm just going to create two another folders. So this is going to be my header. And here I'm going to make this as home. And of course, within the home, we can write all these pages, whatever we have discussed so far, like this code, practice size, videos and to do. But my intention here is to complete this sign up. So I'm not going to bother about this. Rather, let us see how to do the header part from the sign up and the signing page. So within the header folder, I'm just going to create a class file. Of course, we are going to use each and everything as a class. So here I will make this as header page just to give some identification and dot js. And after that, of course, I need a sign up page as well. So here I will create sign up page. Do I have to write page, page, all this? Not necessary, but just for your understanding, maybe you can write in this way. So let's move to the header part first. And within this, we are going to create a class called as header. And within this, we are going to write only the objects. We will see how to call this or how to use this in test script or different files later on. Today, just we are going to write what are the components we need to complete our test script we are going to take only those elements. First, we have to write all the elements that are present within the header tab or the header component. So here we can see that we have this logo, this latex path and sign up and the login. Now it is not necessary. We have to write all the fours or if you have more number of elements, not necessary to write all those on the very first time. Eventually you can write when there is a necessity or based on your test script, you can add more elements. So as of now, we are interested on the sign up and the login. So let us try to write for this. So of course, as usual, we have to go and inspect. And here I can see that it is within the A tag. So of course, I can use this as a link text. So let me copy the value. 
and here we are going to say sign up and then of course we have to use the element and then followed by by dot link text so i'm just going to import the by dot link text and within this i'm going to give the value and if you notice here this is your kind of import statement but we no need to use the babel or any of the configuration so of course you can use this this is like your namespace concept we'll talk about it maybe in some another video and after that we have to find the login so let me just inspect this and it is also a tag and within this of course we have this text so of course i can use this now if you notice this a tag has a space but when we have space within the a tag we no need to give the spaces by default it will trim and it will use only the value so i'm just going to copy this and here i will say login by dot link text and within that of course we have to pass the value and i can remove the space as well it is going to work that's it so as per our requirement we have taken the sign up button and as well as the login now there is also some of the naming conventions it is not any rule set but definitely we can follow so that each and every person within our team can understand what we are, what the element we are finding and how we are going to interact for example for this link text or it looks like a button so we can say like sign up button or the login button like that so i'm just going to add a btn here or you can of course write button fully but i prefer to write btn and that's it so let's see how to write for the sign up page as well so of course i have to create another folder so click on the pages and click a new folder and make it as sign up and within the sign up i'm going to create another sign up class and of course it's not your java so the class name and the file name can be varied nothing wrong about it so here we'll write a class and i'll make it as sign up and let us inspect what are the elements we want from this page of course we want almost all the elements so first we will write only those input and this um, checkbox and the button and after that once we know what we have to validate or what we have to write then we will find all the other elements so let us try to inspect those so here we can see that we have this id so i'm just going to copy this and here we will write our object names first so of course it's going to be of name and it is of type input so i'm just going to make this as input because when we are going to validate this label field as well so that is also going to be name so just to have a good segregation i am going to make this as name label and this is as a name input field because of course both has different identity i mean the locators so we will segregate in based on the locators type and here we will just call our element by dot id and within that of course we have to pass the value so i believe you already knew about this so i'm just going to write quickly or all the other elements and this last field is within the button tag so of course i can use this as button text so out of the protector api we have this element then followed by by dot button text right so i'm just going to use this okay so we are done with all our objects and of course you know that this is our class file so if i try to write let or var or anything like const of course we cannot do that so if you missed the classes concept in javascript so i will recommend you to watch my oops concept in javascript that will definitely help you to understand those things so we have done with the elements that are required for our test script for the sign up page and also for the header page but i just did a small mistake here instead of writing within this page i have written with this page so I'm just going to cut everything and I'm going to paste within this class 
and I think we know need the sign up folder. So I'm just going to delete it. Okay, so that's the difference. Nothing much here. So I think we are pretty much done for this video and we have learned how to segregate or organize all our folders within the project and using all this element we will learn how to write our test script in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one very soon.